Hi everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are in the woods because I want to show you Layla's bed. I have made a little blanket for her bed which I thought looked a little bit like roses and that's why it's called the English Rose Blanket. It is a granny square blanket. So I have split up making this blanket into various tutorials. First of all, we're making the squares, then we're doing the join, and then we are also doing the border. So each of these will be separate tutorials. Check out the playlist for that. Of course, I am only making a mini blanket, but of course the technique is the same for a big blanket. You'll just have to make more squares. I hope you will join me in making this lovely project. So what do you need for this project? I used powder pink, pale rose and Lincoln, Starcraft Special Decay, all these three. Then, of course, your scissors, darning needle, and I used my three and a half higher, higher hook. And for this particular blanket, you are going to need 24 little squares. Now, obviously, I am making this for Layla's bed. If you are making this for a bigger bed, just measure. You know, um, I've laid it out on her bed and that's the amount of little squares that I need. So... You need to make your squares bar the last line. So I am making um, sort of the little roses and then the green leaves. And then in a moment, I am going to use the continuous join with my powder pink to put them all together. So these are my four rows of six. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started with the first row. And what you do is you crochet like that. Okay. Then you come back and then you do the next row. Exactly the same. You're there, you come back oh, 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 down like this. And I'm hoping that if I film this in time lapse, you will actually see this appearing slowly, but surely. <laughs> okay, so this is how we are going to do the continuous join to join all the squares together for this blanket. So this is my yarn that I'm going to um, join with. It's a continuous join, so I am going to get started with one ball, and if I only use one ball then obviously you will only have two ends to sewing so the starting end and I should finish here as well with my end with my last stitch so the both ends should be in the same location so I'm going to start with a slip knot insert your hook and close up the loop around your hook then take your first square Yarn over as if you were already crocheting. Go into the corner. And do your three double crochets. Now we are not going to do the rest of the corner. We will do the rest of the corner as our very last stitch of the blanket. Then you are going to continue doing your granny cluster basically so you do granny clusters in between the clusters on the sides then we are going to do a corner and this one you do normally so three double crochets two chains and three double crochets And then you work your way down to the next corner. Okay. So 
So here we have done the first three double crochets of the corner. Again, we are not continuing that corner, but we are doing a chain. Okay, just a chain. Then you're going to come back up, but you're actually crocheting this part here, this side here, while you attach it to this side. So I have now done my chain here. Now I am going to get started on my next cluster on the corner here. So yarn over and do the three from the cluster from the corner, but okay, you do you do the first one. Then you take out your hook, you go under the V of the opposite square, you put your hook around the loop again, close it up and bring it through that V. Then yarn over and do your next double crochet. Out, hold on to the loop, into the next V there. Loop back around your hook and pull it through. Again, because of course we have three double crochets in the corner. And you might think it takes a long time. Well, actually it doesn't really. It's It becomes a habit. Okay. Then you go to your next cluster. So yarn over into the next cluster. Do your double crochet. Pull up your loop, out with the hook, into the next V on the other side. Bring your loop back round the hook. Pull it tight and loop it round that V. And then you do your next double crochet. Out, under, round, pull through. And that way you are going to attach both the squares together and it makes a lovely little ridge. Can you see that? So you will have to do this now for this side, obviously, because this is where we are touching. And there we go. And you each time find the corresponding V into the corner, pull up your loop and find your V's here. There we go. And of course, here we are going to do our corner because we have to go and do the other side. So I've done my three from my corner. So now we're ready to do our little corner. So I do a little chain, pull up my loop, go into the corner. Once again, loop the loop around my hook and bring it round the chain. Then do another chain and then I start doing my three double crochets again. So basically I've done a chain, a loop around and a chain in my corner. And that seems to work really well, making sure that it's nice and straight there, see? And now, of course, you can do your two sides again without having to connect them. See? And then, of course, once you get there we go, see? So once you get to the base again here, to the corner here, you do the same thing as I did here with the next one and so on. Okay, I will meet you when I am here.
now I'm going to go all the way back. So I did my three double crochets here. Now I'm going to make a normal corner. So two chains and then another three double crochets into that same location. You're going to do your clusters here. Then when you get to the corner, you're going to put the second lot of three double crochets, which need to go in the corner there. Okay, so this is the first lot. This is the second, or this is the first lot. This is the second lot. Okay, then you do a chain. And remember, we've done a chain here. Well, actually, it's always hard for me to find. But if you haven't done it, you can't find it. But if I've done it, you can see something here. And generally, I just go in wherever I can. And generally, it is that chain. And I do a slip stitch. There we go. See? And that closes that corner up, makes it a nice corner. And that means you can then do your chain and go on to the next corner where you have to do the, that second lot of three double crochets. Okay? And that way... You work your way all the way back to this corner here. So don't go up this side, okay? Go to that corner there, because it's easier if you see it like this, right? So go to this corner here. So I've done my uh, last corner, well, just the first cluster of it. I do a chain for when I come back up. And once again, I am going to start on my next square. But of course, this time we do the same thing as before. So you start working with your first double crochet. But of course, this time it's the top row that you are going to be attaching first. There we go. And we do the second one. This time you will be attaching so at the top here and then from the next one you will be doing the side and the top it's a little bit awkward to hold and especially if you're trying to film it <laughs> always easier when it's closer to your body but i think um you know it works out so nicely There we go. See, you get that lovely little ridge. And I do like that. So when you get to the corner, you do your three double crochets for the corner as you would normally with pulling it through there. Look. So let's do those. There we go. Into there. Yep. Okay. So now, oh, and of course, oh, I think I can find it there. Okay. <laughs> so now, of course, we are doing. A corner here so you do a chain you then come out of it and what I tend to do I don't do it in this one here I do it in the opposite one 
and then the one here I do here just so that there is more I don't know just you know more attachment I suppose there we go so you pull it through then you do your chain and then you continue on the side here there we go okay so basically now as you can see we are going down again and so in a moment you'll be coming up and then also doing this one here same thing with that corner here and then here when you get to that corner you go into this one here to do your slip stitch chain and then you continue doing those so good luck with that i am now going to just continue while i watch the rest of my film and i will be back when i am at the last square when i've come back the last time ready to do this last side because this side we do as very last so we will end up here as the last bit so when i'm on the corner here i shall be back to show you what to do So this is where I am at now. And so putting this together took the whole film of Pride and Prejudice by the last one. Um, yeah, so it finished and then I still had to do part of the last one and this last line there. But so that gives you an idea of how long that took. So here we have this side to do here. And of course, it's the same as what we would have done if we'd gone back on one of the long rows so you continue your corner with your two chains your three double crochets then doing the sides with you know attaching your corners in those hidden <laughs> chains that you do on the other side it always sort of disappears but if you don't do it there doesn't seem to be any yeah any place to go into so I suppose it does make a difference if you've done it. That particular little chain at the end there. There we go. So here, yeah, it's a lot easier to get in there to do your slip stitch. Let's put it that way. <laughs> okay, so I'm nearly here. This is where I started, that half corner where I started. So I have to put the first half in one two chains and then of course a slip stitch and there we go so that's the end of that now i am not going to be cutting it off just yet i will be doing the border in the next video so i do hope you enjoyed me trying to explain to you how to do this continuous join and it's a really really good technique to have up your sleeve so here we are here is Layla's finished granny square blanket the English rose granny square blanket and of course we're doing the border in the next video thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye before you go please like and share this video Ring the bell so you're notified of new videos. Join our community on Facebook and here are some more videos you might find interesting. Thank you so very much for watching and come back soon. Bye!